Okay, guys, make sure you guys hit up Gamer the Plug on Instagram or Gamer the Plug 24 on Twitter to buy or sell a stacked NBA 2K20 account or to get your badges grinded, especially since it's hard getting badges this year. But anyways, guys, the link will be the first link in the description, so make sure you guys go hit them up. Now, let's get straight into the video, man. Let's get it! What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double HD, and I'm back in the building with yet another bang. But hold on right quick, man. Three legends on one court? God damn! Damn, we going crazy out here. I'm showing gameplay right here of my inside out playmaker. Now, while that's going on, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to make the build. This is going to be my main legend build. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We're about to hit 12,000 subscribers. Drop a like on this video. Let's get to 100 likes on this video. And if we do, I will drop the jump shot that I'm using in these gameplays and that I'll be using on this guard. And what, in my opinion, is the best guard jump shot in the game right now. Also, turn on post notifications so you see every time I go live on YouTube, which is just about every other day. And when you see when I can upload another banger, man. Now, look at me going crazy. This build not only can play defense, it can shoot from half court. It can dunk on 7-3 rim protectors. But wait, hold on again. Three masks? Three teddy bears? Go crazy, man. Go crazy. But yeah, I was we were really hooping out here. This is just a couple clips and just a couple gameplays of what y'all are gonna be seeing on the channel. Get me going crazy. You see big clutch jumping up after greening that three. Um now I only have this build at a 94 overall right now, so I can't speed boost off rip. And I don't have all of its badges. I will be showing you my badge setup. Um that I'm currently using as this video is being uploaded um at the end of the video. As long with uh how to you know make the build a uh, step by step but yeah this build can speed boost it has slashing hall of fame badges shooting hall of fame badges um it gets a lot of defensive badges um once again it can speed boost shoot from half court dunk on seven three centers it can really do everything to be honest um and it gets hella badges i think it gets almost 60 badge points which is literally crazy that's almost over a hundred badges at legend which is what i'm using the build at um so yeah uh, look at the gameplay, bro. Like, it, I'm only a 94, bro. When I get this build to 99, I'm gonna have like 99 speed, 99 acceleration, bro. And you see the jump shot, you know, it's green. And when it whites, it goes in, you know. Once again, drop a like on the video. We get a hundred likes. I got y'all with the jump shot. It's as simple as that. But look at me going crazy, man, from deep. Oh my god, we pulling from way out there. But look at me hustling for this one, man. You already know I'm pulling because I can shoot from anywhere under the basket. From half court, it don't matter. Slashing takeover. And look at me going crazy. You know, the behind the back, step back, green. You know what I do out here, man. Come on. Big mascots. I'm just I'm just really trying to go crazy. We're going to end this game right here. But let's go straight into how to make this build step by step. If you're not subscribed, what are you doing, bro? Subscribe to the channel. Drop a like. Once again, 100 likes. I got you with the jump shot. Now let's go straight into the My Player Builder. So here we are in the My Player Builder. Now the first thing you're gonna want to do is go ahead and pick point guard, um, because obviously you want that dimer to set up your teammates, right? If you pick shooting guard or anything else, you're gonna be way too slow um, for this build, and you're also not gonna get that dimer. Now when it comes to hand, you can go right or left. Uh, it's just literally personal preference. I went with right hand because that's what I've been doing so far this year. And then when it comes to the pie chart, man, now if you guys don't know, the two main colors in your pie chart or whatever the main color in your pie chart gets Hall of Fame badges. So we went shooting and slashing. So I'm going to get Hall of Fame shooting badges and Hall of Fame slashing badges. That's literally a, a super overpowered, like off the bat, okay? So that's the pie chart we chose when it comes to the skill breakdown. Now, when it comes to the physical um, profile, obviously, we want to be the fastest we can be. So, we went with the 
top physical profile we want to be the fastest as a guard obviously and um, you'll see why at the end of this video now when it comes to setting up your um, attributes this is probably the most important thing and this is how I get it to say inside out playmaker some of you might be making this build and it might come out as a floor spacing slasher or an offensive threat now if you make a floor spacing slasher it's because you didn't put it that much playmaking in it and you put a lot too much driving into it um, if you make an offensive threat it's because you just didn't put enough defense into it now what you probably do off the bat is just max your shooting right that would just seem like the right thing to do but that's not actually what you're gonna want to do now you can lower the free throw um down to 20 shooting batters but we'll go ahead and edit the shooting attributes in a second another thing you would probably want to do oh let me max my playmaking you're gonna end up maxing everything because you're like oh well this build needs driving and shooting because those are the hall of fame badges we need and this build needs playmaking because i need a speed boost and this build it, it, then you're not gonna have anything for defense right now when it comes to driving right you do want to upgrade everything but post hook and standing dunk but what you can do as you can see we have 15 driving badges right now we're going to keep close shot driving lamp and driving dunk maxed out and we will eventually be able to get contact dunks once you hit like i think like 96 97 overall but if you put your standing dunk up to a 35 you get one extra finishing badge so we may as well take that it's only three attribute points and we get an extra badge right now when it comes to shooting um, and playmaking um, playmaking turn down your post moves all the way down to like a 52 and you still get 15 playmaking badges so what we just saved like 20 plus attributes right there by doing that and then on defense you don't need interior defense the only thing important on defense is perimeter defense lateral quickness steal and defensive rebound that's right defensive rebound is actually important offense rebound not very useful block uh, not not very useful as a guard and then interior defense no we're not going to be guarding uh the, we're not going to be sitting in the paint on defense um the next thing you want to do is actually lower your mid-range to a 75 now you're still going to have a really good mid-range at the end of this but if you lower that and then put the free throw um up one again you're still gonna have your 20 shooting badges but you're gonna have enough attribute upgrades to upgrade your defensive rebound to a 60 to get the extra defensive rebounding badge so that's just an extra defensive badge and you're getting you're basically just getting more badges now look at the badge setup y'all 16 finishing 20 shooting 15 playmaking six defense and that legend imagine bro this build's gonna be able to do everything bro i'm gonna have 26 finishing 30 shooting 25 playmaking and 16 defense i'll be a lock a sharp a playmaker and a slasher bro it's gonna be crazy but anyways when you go to the body shape may as well go burly bro do not pick anything else if somebody tells you oh don't go bur bro they're just wrong this doesn't affect your player at all you may as well be as big as possible go burly now when it comes to height you could go 6'4 but that's just going to make your player a lot shorter so go 6'3 you'll be able to speed boost if you go 6'4 i think you're only going to be able to speed boost at like 99.9 .9, and obviously you don't want to do that when it comes to weight minimum weight if you can go up one more pound it, lo it lowers your vertical by one so you may as well just go minimum weight it doesn't really affect anything negatively except for interior defense by one and once again we don't even need interior defense so we may as well as be as fast as possible now when it comes to wingspan now some if you max your wingspan you're gonna just crucify your shooting and then you're not even gonna be able to speed boost on this build so what i did is i actually lowered it all the way down we went minimum but there's no point of really going minimum because if you go back up one nothing gets affected except mid-range takes only minus one that's the only thing that happens so you may as well take the extra inch on your wingspan and look at the mid-range is already looking good again because remember we put it minus six and you're not even gonna be you're not even gonna be able to shoot that many mid-range you're gonna be mostly shooting threes and dunking the ball now when it comes to choosing your takeover lead we have four takeover options now honestly you could pick any takeover here except for shot creating do not pick shot creating i don't know why you would pick that takeover that takeover is really not that good pick slashing playmaking or shooting takeover those are the three best takeovers in the game in my opinion now i went with slashing i went with slashing because imagine guarding somebody with takeover they have slashing takeover on which gives them blow by animations contact dunks and basically layups no matter what now you have to guard me at the three-point line because i have hall of fame limitless that sounds op as hell and it really is and then we created the inside out playmaker this is the build i will be using for 
legend. Now, you guys probably want to see my badge, um, my badges and how, what they're looking like and really what I decided to go with right now. So this is the badge setup right now. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, man. Come on, join the Double H family, bro. Now, once again, I do have unlimited boost. I have my gym rat badge. Those were the stats. Here are the badges for y'all. Uh, I hope you just in this video um, helped you guys out um, a lot. And if you guys want me to do an explanation on why I chose the badges that I have right here, um, just go ahead and comment below. Remember, if we get 100 likes on this video, I'll drop the jump shot video. Um, and make sure to turn on post notifications so you see every time I upload and every time I post another banger, man. It's been your boy, Henry, a.k.a. Double HD. And I'm out of here, y'all. Peace. I'm feeling your energy. And shorty, man, she really into me. I got lots of enemies. And they wanna act like they friends with me. I came up from bummy tees. Now catch me just rocking Javante.